I'm Jeremiah Nisley and I'm from Topeka, Indiana. This is Bandit. He is three. He's a train walker. We had a good hunt. He scored three coons by himself and he had a piece of another one. I thought he did a real good job. My dad and my grandpa and my great-grandpa have all hunted ever since I can remember and great-grandpa's not here anymore. Uh, my dad, he's actually one that's handling it. It would mean a whole lot. The closer it gets, the more, the further out of reach it seems really, to me anyway. The first night it just kind of seemed like any other any other hunt and then the more, the more we won, the more it didn't seem real. You know, you know what you're hunting for and uh, it's, you know you have to beat those other dogs and you've got two hours to do it and every tree matters, every call matters, and it's, uh, yeah, it's very intense. To win the UKC World Hunt would, uh, I, I can't explain it. I can't even put it into words, it would mean a whole lot. Hi, I'm Caleb Griffin, and I'm from Westminster, South Carolina. This is Bad Habits Preacher Man. He's a, my best friend. Uh, he's a crossbreed. He's three quarters walker, a quarter blue tick. He's off of um, Sambo, which is Bad Habit Sambo, which is, uh, he's half walker, half blue tick. Goes back to Bad Habit. I always just kind of love that bloodline of dogs. You know, John Strickland made him famous. And just kind of carried on his legacy with him. I guess Sambo was probably the dog that kind of put coon hunting on the map for me, because up until then, what I thought was a coon dog wasn't. And then I hunted with him, and he kind of showed me a whole new light. And then along came Preacher, and it's been a blessing to me ever since. When I wake up in the morning, I let him out, and um, he stays in the yard. He's all lazy and everything, so he stays and plays with my boy and Spaniel, and they run around. You know, he's, on, he's not like a typical hunting dog. He's just got too much sense for that. And he just, he'll get on the side-by-side -side or the lawnmower or whatever I'm doing. He's always there. He don't mind. He loves road trips. He, when we get hotels, he gets his own bed. And, just my yard dog, you know. <laughs> First early round was, I lost about five years off my life because for the last 30 minutes we stayed in a clutch and it was all, I ended up winning off tiebreaker. Probably the hardest cast I've ever been on in my life. And um, late round, I knew if I could get to late round, he's really he's really good on late rounds as far as tree and layup coons and everything. I knew if I could get the early round and get to late round, he, that was more his style. And late round went a lot smoother. And everything. He just got in there and started running those soybean fields and, cornfields and started treeing them and he did really good. To win a UKC World Championship is a, it's a dream come true. I mean it's every coon hunter that's ever led a dog this is the epiphany of where they want to be. It's like the pinnacle, the top of the mountain. And you know it's in your dreams, all the hard work. And like his first year I, I mean I hunted him 362 nights that year. Rain, sleet, snow or shine, it didn't matter. We, we went through a tornado together and when you put that much work into one there's you know to be able to receive the reward of being here is that's what makes it all worthwhile. I mean, these aren't just all dolls or animals or yard dogs. Or, these are athletes. I mean, he's got a diet program he's on. He exercise, he runs on the treadmill, and I keep him run. I'm, I got a mile log how much I run him and everything like that. So he's not just a yard dog or anything like that. There's a lot of time and effort. He's got his own insurance policy, so he's he's got his own health insurance. So I mean, it's there's a lot more work that goes into it and just to reap the rewards of being at, in this prestige of an event with your best friends and the best dogs in the world and you know for the once I mean I never say you know the dog's better than anybody because any dog in this this line of where it's a lot of luck any dog can be beat on any specific night to be able to make it this far and, the, and all the you know stones fall in your favor and everything go your way it's it's what makes it all worthwhile it's what makes everybody go out here night after night after night instead of sleeping and do this so. Cody Carter and I'm from Poland, Indiana. So this is Snooky's Cookie. She's a six-year-old walker female. Ah, it's not really set in yet, you know. I, <laughs> I've talked about getting here a bunch, but really never thought I would. We hunt seven nights a week, and I don't think she cares if it's right behind the house or five hours away like we are tonight. She just, she enjoys it. 
I think you'd drop her in Canada and she'd probably look the same as she does here. It, I don't think she really cares. She doesn't know what she's won, but it means a lot to us. We all treated the coon together out of the truck and she had first and first on it. And uh, we recut off that and Sadie female treated a coon and then she treated another one. And uh, mine made a circle slick down off a deer feeder and uh, we traded three or four circle trees back and forth and uh, I ended up making a slick there towards the end and it gives Sadie the lead. And uh, I believe her next tree, she made a slick tree, which put me back in front at the time. And uh, we both got treed with about 10 minutes left. And uh, she had a coon way through there, crossed a couple roads and sealed it up for us. She just kind of does her own thing. I mean, she's a little different every night, but just consistent. Uh, winning the UKC, world hunt would I mean I think it just puts you at the top of the list it's to me it's the number one hunt to win I mean there's a lot more that pay bigger money but I'd say this one is the most prestigious it mean the most to me the guys I hunt for especially Steve Davenport he's been at it for about 45 years and uh, hasn't won one yet I know it would mean the world to him I'd like to win it more for him than for myself mm -hmm.